Hi guys, welcome to Music Store. If you've made it this far, it means I kind of like you and I think you're pretty super awesome and that you stand out way ahead of lots of other candidates. Uh, every time we go through an interview process, we get a tremendous number of people applying because let's face it, working at a music store is kind of cool. Um, but music makes you smarter. And if you believe that phrase, if you've ever heard that phrase, music makes you smarter and you believe it at all, then we have to live it. And if you don't exemplify that because you're cross-eyed and drooling, um, you're probably not going to be working here. Um, one of the things that we spend a lot of time on, you've seen already and we've talked about already, is our core values. Now, a lot of core values are brought up, and a lot of people, corporations will bring up core values because somewhere at some point somebody said that they needed to have them. And I get that. Um, but that's not how we run things around here. We run our uh, things based off of our core values. They really exemplify who we are and what we are. Um, and it's what we base decisions off of. It's what we hire off of. It's definitely what I fire people off of. Um, and so I need you to understand what they are. Um, so I'm going to show you core values right now. So here's the are. Uh, our list of core values, you've got these in your training packet as well. Um, and exactly what it says, this is what drives us as individuals, it's what sets us apart, it's what we base decisions off of. So let's go through these. Um, we have an entire series of videos on, on me teaching on core values and what they are, I want to just give you the overview. Core value number one is deliver more than you promise. Going the extra mile for everyone is essential to good customer service and feeling good about what you do. Now that's the major difference in this, is about feeling good about what you do. Everybody, anybody can show up to work and do the job. Plug through, hey boss, what are my, what are my responsibilities, boss? I'll get them done. And you get them done and you go home. But it doesn't mean you feel good about what you did today. If you work really hard at trying to make every single customer experience for everybody that walks in the door awesome, I promise you, you're gonna have more fulfillment in life. And you're gonna feel better about yourself when you get to walk out, walk out those doors and go home to your family tonight and say, you wanna believe the person that we changed their life for today. And that's what we get the opportunity to do. Core value number two is build and nurture long-term lasting relationships. Now, Walmart, nobody cares what your name is. You walk in, you buy your cheap crap, you walk out, you punk, and if you were wearing something stupid, you're gonna be on you know, people of Walmart. Yay. They don't care about who you are and they don't wanna be your friend for any length of time. We do. Our sales cycle is extremely long. In other words, if somebody comes in and, and their parents buy them an instrument, by the time that person's coming back and buying another instrument, more than likely, it's 20 years. And that's a very, very, very long sales cycle. So that experience needs to be at such a high level that they remember that 20 years from now and want to come back and do business from us. Now, in the interim of those 20 years, they're going to need strings or reeds or capos or rosin or whatever the case may be. And we want that experience to be so positive that they're willing to come back and spend that money with us as well. And so by trying to get to know everybody at a deep level, by asking qualifying questions, you're going to connect with these people at a deeper level, and it's going to be more fun. Core value number three, know it's important and keep it a priority. This is a tough one. Lots of people can come up with really good ideas. Oh, you know what I should do? I should do this. And then a week later, they go, oh, you know what I really should do with that idea that I had last week? And then a month later, oh, crap, you know, I'm so stupid. I can't believe I haven't got that done yet. And a year later, they're like, yeah, I suck so bad. I just, I'm, I give up. Well, that means you just don't have any discipline. And that's stupid. Um, knowing what's important is the first part. Keeping it a priority, that's the hard part. So knowing how to keep it a priority is, do I put it in my calendar? How do I make it part of my daily routine? How do I create a system around it that includes this so I know I don't ever forget it? That's the tough part. Core value number four, continually evaluate tasks to ensure self and customer satisfaction. This sounds a lot like, no, it's important to keep it a priority, but it's not. Sometimes you, we've got systems. Well, actually around here we have a lot of systems. And you need to continually be aware of how do we refine those systems? How do we make it simpler? How do we take steps out? Do we have redundancies in something that we can get rid of um, in order to make the job easier, more fulfilling for me? The other side of it is maybe it makes sense for us. But the customer is looking at it going, why do I have to do this six times? Why do I have to do this again? Didn't I just give you this information? How do we eliminate those steps? If we can eliminate those steps, we do better and it creates better customer satisfaction. And that's our goal. Core value number five right here is continually redefine the rules by embracing change. Um, 
Now, some people think that this is a little bit different. Um, they say, great, rules are made to be broken. Um, yeah, believe me, I totally get that. I've lived my life off of that, that concept. But it's also kind of brutal to think about always breaking the rules. Instead, what I, what I have come to learn and have been taught is that you've got this box of rules, right? And we want to try to reach a new level. So we push off of those rules and we, we float up and sometimes you would land on the next level. And then all of a sudden, your box is bigger and you've got a new set of rules to go for. Sometimes you don't make the mark and you fall right back to those rules. And that's okay, you're gonna make mistakes. Um, get up, try to jump a little bit higher the next time or jump in a different direction and find out, you're gonna learn something by falling back down on your face. Pick yourself up, learn from that, go in a different direction. How do we, how do we re redefine the rules? Part of a growing company, which this is, is that things are going to change straight up. Staff is going to change. Systems are going to change. The software is going to change. Um, the products which, uh, that we sell are going to change. Embrace that and move on with life. Don't be afraid of change. Core value number six, see continual personal progress and invest in it. Guys, I'm serious about this. If you're not getting better, you're going to be fired. Got that? If you're not getting better, I will let you go. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean just in your job. If you're not trying to become a better person, you're not going to be fun to be around. You're going to get wallowed in your own mediocrity, and you're going to be really boring to be around. And I don't want to be around boring people. Get better. Go study. Go learn. Go uh, read a book. Check out a podcast. Do something to make yourself a better person. Um, seek continual personal progress. Uh, sorry. And, oh, and the invest in it part. Sorry, I forgot about the invest in it part. That means sometimes you're going to have to spend money on this or time on this, which is more expensive than money. Um, spend it. Just get in there and do it. Um, ask me for help if you need help. Let's figure out how we make you a better person. All right, core value number seven is be honest. Honestly, when we were putting these things together, I didn't think this needed to be in there. But um, the staff that was involved in helping us put this together, every single one of them said, and this is the difference between good companies and bad. And they're absolutely right. How many times did you, have you ever felt taken advantage of? Don't ever create that situation for any of our customers. It's not worth it. Um, nothing at all is worth losing your integrity over. Just be honest. If that means we lose a sale, fine. Lose it as long as you're being honest. Core value number eight is be humble. Guys, I can't talk on this one enough. And I can't talk about what humility actually means enough. You're going to see several videos on this. But if humility is the state of your heart, then you're going to be open to service, growth, and learning. All right? It's so critical to so many other aspects of our core values. You've got to understand where you are in relation to other people. That's the real definition of humility. Humility is not, oh, I'm so terrible. I'm just, I'm not worthy. That's crap decision. All right? The real decision is understanding where you are in relationship to other people. We'll keep trading on that more and more. Core value number nine, appreciate life and those in it with you. Did you know you get the opportunity to wake up today and decide to have a good day? It's true, you have the opportunity to, opportunity to decide that. Now sure, there's mental uh, problems and chemical imbalances and stuff like that that make that difficult, but that doesn't mean you can't make that decision. So make the decision to go have fun. We get the opportunity to work with um, musicians. And musicians are pretty cool people. And they're creating some really cool art. And they're out there having the time of their lives creating that. Enjoy that. Embrace that with them and ask them about it. Core value number 10 is create a customer experience. That fun, personal, perhaps entertaining uh, shopping experience is to be the norm around here. Our job is to put out energy and excitement and passion about their art. Now, we're not here to share our art, all right? Nobody cares about us. The customer's walking in here. It's not about you as the individual. It's about that customer. It's what they're doing. It's what they're creating. It's what they can become. If you spend your time working on that, creating that relationship with them, and making that experience for them with you awesome by being their guide to their success, then you're going to be successful around here. Guys, we're going to be showing more videos on core values uh, and checking out what they are. And that's part of uh, growing and becoming a better person yourself.